Epcot. Woo! Butterfly Garden behind us. Hello, park hoppers. We're going to bring you various updates today. That's the main gist of this vlog. And also, we're going to pick up a little something from Mouse Gear. You might know what it is already. We're going to show you around the park a little bit. We might do some other things like rides, food. Hop along with us. Let's go. Please remain seated in your boat at all times. Be sure to subscribe and click that little notification bell. Ding. I don't know what I'm doing here. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> and give us a like and leave us a comment. And feel free to share the videos too. Sharing is caring. Epcot is rife with changes right now. We're right next to the Interventions West building, which is going to go bye-bye in the not too distant future. It also means that the entire entrance plaza yeah, out to the parking area almost, the tram area. Is getting a facelift. And you'll see how far away the tram actually pulls. Be able to exit to the driver's left hand side. Guardians of the Galaxy coaster update, the construction from this side, entrance. the parking lot. For all of my friends waiting to board this tram, please remain it now behind features the safety line until we come to a park hoppers. We got to Epcot. For all of our we parked way out in Explorer 79. They put us out here next to the Guardians of the Coast, <laughs> Guardians of the Coaster, the Guardians of the Galaxy Coaster. This is where the main entrance drop off from the tram is going to be for the time being while they work on the grand entrance, which is going to be beautiful, but it's going to be a while like this. We've walked from all the way over there. You can see the tram in the distance and you can still see Spaceship Earth way far away way behind this green scrim this is going to be amazing when it's done we're gonna look into the future and one of the reasons that the entrance is all cordoned off cordoned off yeah i was gonna say different <laughs> or something <laughs> is because all of these stones the legacy. the legacy stones this is why we bring her along they're gonna be moved from outside of the front entrance area so that the flow of traffic is more smooth aka smoother <laughs> one of our activities here is to come into mouse gear and get our daisy magnet for pass holders very exciting oh there is a line collecting over here the procedure is different for the magnets each time we have discovered Ooh. Ah. We are now entering Club Cool, as you can see behind us, whose days are numbered. As part of Project Gamma, as it's being called so far, Club Cool and the Fountain View restaurant will be closed at some point within the next year-ish to make way for all of the new stuff that is coming to future world, 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 world. So this is gonna be one of our later chances to Partake of Bitter Beverly from Italy. <laughs> Bottoms up, Beverly. It's disgustingly bitter. You know what we're gonna chase it with? Some Fanta from Greece. I don't know if I should say from these countries. They're due to be shipped to those countries though. What do you have? Uh, I think it's pronounced Kuat from Brazil. Zena is also having the melon fantasy. Melon frosty. Oh yeah, melon frosty. <laughs> I like this one. I think it tastes like Skittles in carbonated water. Okay. And I'm having the Italy. You know you just said I'm having the Italy. But you're not. It's from Greece, the pineapple fanta. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> My brain is not working at all today. I am so glad she is here today. I have the grease. Well, I had the grease. Very much tastier than the Italy. Beverly. The Fountain View Starbucks, or restaurant as I called it earlier inadvertently, is actually going to move across the way as we hear over to the Odyssey Pavilion. Hello, Plutie. Plutie. 
Hello Pluty and Goofo, or Pluto and Goofy as I should be saying. <laughs> We're on our way over toward the land pavilion for something. And let's not forget Park Hoppers, the 2019 International Flower Hand Garden Festival here at Epcot is ongoing through June 3rd. Would you say this is our favorite festival? <laughs> gotcha well, taking a picture shiny. of note over here at the Innoventions West building the character meet and greets will be moved over to Imageworks with Wreck-It Ralph and Vanellope over here in Figment Land. Speaking of Figment we're inside of the land pavilion here's a poster for Awesome Planet which is going to be going into here apparently and it used to be what? The circle of life. Looks like over here at the Garden Grill restaurant where the character meals are, they have placed up a big barrier of fake bushes so that you can't really peek in on the character meals from afar because they want you to pay for that experience. It's a mystery. Welcome to our living laboratory. Bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice are well known around the world. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. The sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the tanks. Well, we figured while we were at Living with the Land, may as well stop and get some of their naturally grown pizza. Okay, maybe not. And the macaroni? No, I don't know. They probably don't grow this here. <laughs> but the peppers and stuff in the pasta salad might be. These two kids' meals, pizza, half slices, and pasta salad, and an additional side of your choice, apples or go-go squeeze or a cookie. Or carrots. Or carrots. <laughs> <laughs> or apple juice as the drink, and uh, also Nestle Quick. We got apple stuff all around. Fourteen twenty-five total. And this stuff is delicious. This is some of Zena's favorite pasta salad. It's so good. And the pizza is delicious too. Yeah. Enjoy. Ah, we got a couple of male ducks and some very long shadows of Mike and Zena here. This one's preening over here. He feels a little unkempt. This one here just doesn't care at all. Just chilling. Feathers up top. Just looks so soft. The other two ducks were outside of the land pavilion. This fellow here is all on his own over here by the Imagination Pavilion. He's been in the water. He's a little shiny. So shiny. Also next to the land pavilion is this artificial turf area. It's beautiful. This is something you would want your yard to look like naturally or even artificially. But it's filled with plants and great places to sit under umbrellas and in Adirondack chairs. Very peaceful. This is the Mindful Retreat. This side over here is a little more active and less relaxing looking <laughs> for the adults. We're coming into the International Gateway World Traveler area right up top there. You can see a concrete mixer that is dealing with the Skyliner station area. We're gonna check out the International Gateway entrance over here. In fact, the scan-in checkpoint has been shifted over toward the water. Back here, all you see is scrim. There you see a gondola post up there. We're here at the France Pavilion. And also some more information about the gondola system over there. It's due to open this fall, 2019. It needs to open due to... Star Wars? Yeah, let's everybody hope that that's all open. Yeah, I am sure Disney hopes that. By the way, the friendship boats are still operating over there. We saw people getting on friendship boats to the other resorts around here and also all the way over to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge land, aka Disney Hollywood Studios. Here in the France Pavilion, we're going to have the Ratatouille ride, which is due to open in... We'll insert that right here. It's going to be a trackless dark ride. It's very exciting. I'm excited. Xena really loves Ratatouille. I have not seen it yet. 
In case you've never come to Epcot for the Garden Rocks concert series, that's what the line was like back there. Zena escaped over to the Italy Pavilion. We're not going to the concert because we don't want to wait in a line like that. Have you ever taken this form of Disney transportation? Zena is very excited to be in the Germany Pavilion today. Oh, there's a sneeze. She's so excited she's sneezing. Why are we here? Get some caramel popcorn. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, from right over here at the Caramel Kusha. Come into Caramel Kusha. You have to wait in a line if it's busy. And that's fine. It's a very long line. And this looks like the origination of the caramel popcorn baggage process. There's a caramel apple on the wax paper. Oh! There is math involved here, everybody. Fantastic. I would not trust myself with that job either. Look at these choices of all of these sweets. There you see the bags up front. There you see some of the prices for these chocolatey, caramelly treats. <laughs> Flat twist. Another whole case full of them. Here's what we've come for though. We had actually never been into Caramel Kusha before, but Zena has stopped depriving herself of this caramel popcorn. It is uh, Werther's original brand, and they have a whole wall full of Werther's in there, as well as Toffee Fee, Mamba. And Riesen chocolate. Riesen, yeah. Is Werther's pronounced in Germany, is it Werther's? PHM presents You Make the Call. Mike is attempting to guess an authentic German pronunciation for Werther's or Werther. Let's see if he got it right. The non-possessive form is... Werther. Werther. Oh, in the ballpark, but still not a hit. Better luck next time, kid. They offer a large size bag for $6.99. I believe you can use Disney Dining credits with it, but in a nice surprise, we got to use our pass holder discount on it. So it came out to $5.96 after tax. Mmm, smells so good. Too bad there's not smell of it. If Zena could live on popcorn, she would. Zena is carrying her newfound favorite snack like a football. She's protecting it. She's not gonna fumble it. Can I punch it out from behind? Oh, no. Tight grip. That popcorn is exceptional. To me, I'll be real honest, it tastes like honey smacks crossed with Cracker Jack, but even better. Yeah. Oh, hey, look, it's Simba, everybody. And the rest of the crew. Hello, Rafiki. Mufasa and Sarabi almost look faceless. It's creepy. I wouldn't mess with them. Oh, I think their eyes are walnuts. <laughs> they are, they're like walnuts. We just got our uh, two free cups of water from the refreshment outpost. The place with the most unfortunate cast members in Epcot. The kids are always drumming all day. Couple more updates for you this time back in Future World after our quick adventures through Test Track. No, after our quick adventures through the World Showcase. Behind us, you can see it no longer looks like the Coliseum, but it is the Space Station restaurant that is going to open supposedly next year in 2020. I believe it's going to be called Space 220. If we're wrong about that? Correct us. Let us know more information if you know it. Here, it's a Disney bunny hopping along. Check it out. They look like little jackalopes. It's so cute. It's tiny. It's a baby. Another update from over here at the Guardians of the Galaxy coaster entrance. That will be, it's still being framed up inside of there. And way off in the distance, you can see the lift hill maybe, or maybe where it's going to launch up. It's very exciting. We love a good launch coaster like Cheetah Hunt. Check out our video of Cheetah Hunt, a POV. The Guardians of the Galaxy coaster is due to open in 2021 in conjunction with the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World as a whole. Why does the Mission Space sign look like a surfboard or a skateboard? Is it based on Back to the Future? And this is what we're racing in that Xena designed for us. Not the best stats, but it looks kind of interesting. Yeah. It's like 80s tribal. <laughs> Station 
restaurant from up high. <laughs> Lots of cinder block. But, 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 but there's scrim here. How are we gonna get to the tram? Oh, at least Zena has popcorn. Get used to it for a little bit, friends. Thus concludes our park hopping mad day. <laughs> Sorry, I have no food. If Zena could live on popcorn, she would. You saw lots of updates. We ate, and you watched us ride some rides. That's what Epcot's all about, all of that stuff. Be sure to subscribe and to like. Make sure to ring that notification bell. And grab a bag of popcorn while you watch. And comment and share. Thank you. See you later. <laughs>